1938, following a series of radical advancements in physics, German scientists discover how to split the atom. U.S. scientists assume Germany is on a quest for the bomb. As World War II rages, the Allies join the race for the ultimate weapon. July 16th, 1945. The first atomic explosion lights up the New Mexico desert. Three weeks later, the U.S. drops two atomic bombs on Japan. Hiroshima and Nagasaki are totally destroyed. Alarmed, Stalin accelerates the Soviets' bomb program. And in 1949, the Soviets go nuclear. Britain cut off from the U.S. program after the war, starts its own. And in 1952, simultaneously, the U.S. invents and tests the first hydrogen bomb. The blast is nearly 700 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. 50 miles at 10,000 feet. Size of picture, 14 by 18 miles. Other countries soon follow suit. France, bent on achieving nuclear self-reliance after leaving NATO, steps up its bomb program. At Bragan, deep in the Sahara, France goes forward with the detonation of her first atomic bomb. China, reacting to nuclear threats during the Korean War and to its falling out with the Soviets, detonates its first bomb in 1964. India, wary of China, starts its own program and explodes a nuclear device in 1974. Rival Pakistan races to catch up. In 1998, India and Pakistan test weapons just two weeks apart. During the 80s and 90s, the father of Pakistan's bomb program, A.Q. Khan, secretly sells nuclear technology to Libya, Iran, Syria, and North Korea. Increasingly isolated, North Korea tests missiles, and then in 2006, a bomb. Israel has been building its arsenal since the 1960s. During the 60s, 70s, and 80s, a dozen more countries move closer to the nuclear threshold without actually testing a weapon. All told, the nuclear powers conducted more than 2,000 test explosions. In the atmosphere, underground, underwater, and in space. Today, they retain 25,000 nuclear weapons thousands poised on launch-ready alert. Now, other nations have nuclear ambitions, as do non-state actors. The nuclear danger is growing.